how to mix uh, a grey. So we start off with, I'm going to use 50% ultramarine on this occasion. Cleaning my brush. And then some cerulean. And the reason I'm doing both, using both, is you're going to get a, a lovely mixture and a softer grey ultimately, right. which is a useful thing to do. Also, the um, as long as I'm using granulating ultramarine, because there is a non-granulating ultramarine from SAA, but I think I've got the non-granulating, uh, sorry, the granulating, so then you get interesting effects in your grey mm. when you come to mix it. So now I'm going into my opera rose. My opera rose is rather dirty, and it will take, this uh, solidifies into the palette beautifully, so I try to, instead of keep dirtying my opera rose, I try to put that onto the side. I've probably gone a bit too generous now. So what I'm looking for now is from, from the mixture of the two blues, the ultramarine and cerulean, is a purple, mm -hmm. and it creates the most gorgeous purple. I'm just going to waste some of that because I want to have a cleaner brush to get some more pink. And you can see I'm being quite generous. Now this grey that I'm mixing is an ideal start for any painting that you can then adjust the colours, the tones of the grey with either your pink or as I'm about to put in raw sienna mm -hmm. or the blues. Now I'm now going into raw sienna. Again pop that into the side. This is where you go from a beautiful purple to absolute sludge. Mm -hmm. That is horrible. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Gruesome colour. Okay. Now it's gone a little bit sort of too purple so what I always do then is put a little bit more of the ultramarine in and go back to a deeper purple. And my absolute secret to this mix. Uh, if you've got some cobalt turquoise light. Oh, I've just bought some. Yes, oh, it's beautiful. Fantastic colour, as you can all see. And it knocks that back and really makes that lovely and cool. I think I might have to have some more of the yellow in it in a minute, the raw sienna, but I'll go back to that one for a minute. And it takes a few moments to mix, but it's worth it. A bit more of the, yeah. Then you can see that we're starting to get a sort of battleship grey, <laughs> which, depending on whether you want it more of a warm grey, you add some more of the raw sienna. If you wanted a cooler grey, you add more of the opera rose, and so on. If I just show you this one here, you know, it's quite a a, a cool grey, and then I'm going to just put some water on the edge to allow that to sort of bleed and blend. Now if I was to add a little bit more pink, that's going to be far too much work, I'll just put a tiny wee bit there for a minute, put it into that one, um, and mix that, <coughs> excuse me, into there. You can see how you're going to get a more pinky yeah. grey, and then if you added a little more of the yellow, a bit more of the yellow and so on, or a bit more of the blue, you, a tiny wee bit. Yeah, perfect. Mm. Okay, voila. Mm. 